Hello, boys and girls. He, she, they, them, we, us. Anyone else that I forgot? Inappropriate gender pronouns. This one shall be short. Because I already made a video about it, but it's been a few years. Quote of the day. Let's just start right out with the quote. If it is a yes, we will say on we go. And if it's a no, we will stay with no. Learn the art of saying no. There are a few things more precious in our life than our time and our investment. When you give someone or something your time and your investment, your energy and attention and focus, you're giving them a piece of your life that you cannot get back. Once you have um, spent that time, dedicated that energy, time, and attention, and focus on someone or something, um, it's irreplaceable, it's gone. So it's the greatest gift you can give. Devotion of your time, energy, and attention to anything toward any end or to any person. You have to learn the art of no. A lot of people have a hard time saying no. They feel like they have to have no plus lots of disclaimers. Um, no, but maybe some other time. Uh, no, I have to wash my hair. <laughs> it could be anything. You have to you feel like you have to justify your no. We get one life. It is short. There's a lot to keep track of just to maintain um, hygiene and adulthood. <laughs> just to just to sustain let alone to um, take proper health care of ourselves and um, pay uh, appropriate amounts of attention to our um, careers or jobs and to our uh, family and loved ones, our immediate circles. Um, and then to have uh, time outside for ourselves, for self-care, for decompression, for sleep. We sleep two thirds of our life, uh, seven uh, years of that is just spent trying to sleep and not even sleeping. There's a lot to do in a lifetime, <laughs> in a day, in a, in there's, there's, there's a lot. And there's a lot asking for your attention. And you can only be one place at one time. And you only get one life. In order to have healthy life, you have to have healthy boundaries. So you can allocate your time, energy, and attention to the things that really matter to you, the things that are priorities to you in your life. You have to be able to say yes to them. And a lot of people don't realize when they say no to something, they're saying yes to something else. When they say yes to something, they're saying no to something else automatically as a given because you can only be one place at a time. If you say yes to binge watching that Netflix show, you're saying no to anything else you could be doing during that time period. Every now and then, we need a little decompression, mind-numbing time. Go for it. <laughs> but every day, you're not going to get a lot of distance, a lot of progress in your life and yourself and your self-development and um, happiness if you dedicate too much time to um, being sucked into uh, the TV <laughs> and other mindless, mind-numbing activities or immediate gratification type situations. If you allow people to um, suck all of your time, energy, and attention away from your life and the people and things in your life that matter, you'll uh, self-neglect. You will uh, neglect the responsibilities. You will neglect the people that depend on you. You will neglect uh, yourself. You'll lose sight of yourself. 
and it's important to um, have healthy boundaries. Being able to um, guiltlessly say no is one of the first steps to a healthy boundary. To be able to know if this is something you want, some something you, you want to invest in, someone you want to invest in, somewhere you want to go, something you want to do, or if it's something you, you don't want or need at this juncture in this moment in your life. It helps you to be able to clarify your wants and your needs, your likes and your dislikes, to value yourself and your time, honor your wants and your needs. You do not owe anyone anything. We often are afraid to say no because we feel like we, we aren't justified in saying no unless we have some other duty or obligation to attend to. So we're constantly disclaiming our no. Um, I've, you know, got this thing to do, uh, so I can't. Um, but maybe we're, we're, we're sort of wishy-washy in between. A lot of us tend to be people pleasers because we don't want to handle their negative reaction if we say no. And we're afraid that if we say no too often, uh, they'll just stop inviting us or uh, dislike us. We fear the rejection. We fear the angry responses. You are not responsible for other people's emotions, nor are they responsible for yours. In order to have a healthy, happy life, take it from someone who has an abuse survivor, uh, a Me Too survivor, uh, who was bullied through school, who has um, been on the receiving end of a lot of allowing my own mistreatment by not having healthy and appropriate boundaries, expressing my wants and needs because so they went unmet because I wanted to keep the peace. I didn't want to be rejected. It's your life. You deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Your time is valuable. Your investment, your energy, your attention is valuable. If you do not have it to give, you do not have it to give. You don't have to justify your no. You don't have to be cruel, but you are not responsible for other people's emotional reactions. Say it kindly, but say no and stick to it. Don't be wishy-washy. <laughs> Just simply say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. No, I don't feel well. I don't feel like going out tonight. Um, thanks, but no thanks. Um, and stand by it. When you get comfortable saying no and realize the sky does not fall, you'll begin to be able to expand your healthy boundary setting farther and farther and farther out and become more um, comfortable accepting potentially unfavorable reactions, interactions with other people. Healthy boundaries are key to a, to a happy life. So if the answer is yes, then you go. If the answer is no, then it remains no. Know the difference between whether you want to say yes to a thing, to invest in a thing, or you feel uh, as though you should or you're too afraid to say no for a variety of reasons and 
and you need to work on that. Or have a stronger self, a sense of self dignity, self confidence, boundaries, mastery over your own life. And the feeling that your feelings, wants, and needs are just as important as the person who is asking for your time, energy, and attention. Or that thing that is trying to draw your time, energy, and attention away from something you would rather or should rather or need to be attending to instead. Um, I'll link below to learn the art of no and um, set healthy boundaries and stick to them. One more time. Yay, finally, a rather short video. If it's a yes, we will say, on we go. And if it's a no, we will stick with no. Good morning. Goodbye. Peace. Big rings. <laughs> Okay, bye YouTube. Love you guys, gals, everyone. Have a happy day.